The idea of cross-border trade has been viewed as trackers marooned at border posts. In reality, cross-border trade involves both commercial and small-scale border traders majority of whom are women and youths who face numerous challenges in their effort to conduct business. For this reason, COMESA and the European Union signed a cross-border trade initiative at the Mwami and Mchinji border in Chipata aimed at increasing formal small-scale cross-border trade flows. We have developed a mobile application uh, which you can use to do most of these things that we are talking about, including declarations in advance before you get to the airport, uh, sorry, to the, to, the, to the border post. And these things, you know, are things that can be done uh, very quickly. Regional trade in Africa, and notably in the Comesa region, also encompasses men and women who cross the borders every day through official or unofficial channels in order to sell and buy goods, trying to make a living out of it. It's Minister of Commerce, like Trade and here. Industry, Christopher Yaluma, called on um, stakeholders to ensure the initiative becomes this a reality. This is a very, very important initiative. We've let the small traders battle their own wars in order to ensure that they grow their, their small businesses into something sizable. These small traders, you know, it's the same business that they have even managed to help their kids school up to the university level. Now you can imagine what is coming up now, how to expand their businesses. So we must take it very, very seriously. It's not just that you know, we are making some huge pronouncement as we've always done, no. This is something different. And let's grab it with both ends. And Malawi's Minister of Industry, Trade and Tourism, Henry Musa, said small-scale cross-border traders are key in economic development as they provide employment to the masses. Informal cross-border trade contributes between 30 to 40 percent of the intra commercial trade. Cross-border trade is growing at a much faster pace. Three, many of them about 70% are women and, and the youth. For the beneficiaries, it is long-awaited good news. By doing this, the cross-border traders are building not only the economy of the country, but also helping their families. We wish to thank all members that have worked in the background to put up this event, staff from COMESA, EU, GRZ, GRZ Minister. This initiative will be replicated at other border towns in the country and other Comesa member states. Etambuyu Katota, ZNBC News, Chipata.